All right, fellas, we're back out here with the car. Uh, I don't know if I said in the last video, but we were fighting a uh, spark blowout issue, or what I think is a spark blowout issue, um, at about 15 pounds and 5,500 RPM or so. We get a little hesitation to kind of fall on his face a little bit, and uh, I think we tracked it down to the coils. Just, just didn't have enough oomph to, to keep the spark going. So what we did is we went to the junkyard today, grabbed a uh, set of LS coils, the D585 truck coils, the ones with the heat seek on there, as you can see there. Um, these are, uh, I use the, the factory rail that comes with these coils and the harness and everything on there. I just cut the connectors off to, to splice into mine, but um, the two bolts, this is the factory valve cover bolt there. And uh, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it's kind of hiding, but the factory valve cover bolt there. Uh, the bracket lines up perfectly, so I got it secured there, and then I got it secured there. And she's nice and tight. She's not going anywhere. And then uh, the coils. That what I had to do is normally the bolts would uh, be too long. These bolts would be too long if these were sitting flush and they'd hit the valve cover before they were tightened. So I had to put spacers. Um, you know, two on each coil, one for each bolt, and space them out, and then that way, you know, they're nice and tight, and they're not going nowhere. So, I got them bolted up. I just gotta wire in my pigtail into my harness and uh, plug it in there. So, that's what I'm gonna do next. I'll come back once I get that wired in, and then we'll start on the other side there. So, all right, we'll be back shortly. Oh, also, these wires are just uh, LS truck wires for the round coils. Um, they fit down in there nice and snug. They snap onto the plug, so that's good. And these snap on. These are LSNs, so it snaps on nice and good. So uh, we'll go ahead and get this plug wired in, and we'll come back and show you how we do it. All right, guys. Okay, there's one side done. Got her. Looks uh, came out pretty good. Almost looks like it's supposed to be there. But everything's mounted nice and snug. Got the wiring ran. I gotta finish looming the rest of this back up. I had to cut it open to get all the other wiring back out of it. So um, I gotta loom this all back up and all that wire back over there. But I got that side done and mounted. And tomorrow we'll do this side and uh, button up the wiring down there. Get them all finished up and then we'll. Hook up the mega squirt and uh, set the well settings, you know, all the settings for the coils, set them all up, and uh, then we'll fire it off and uh, see if she runs. But uh, I'll check back with you guys tomorrow and we'll, we'll pick up from there. Alright. Alright, guys, so here is a data log um, showing the, uh, the uh, hit I made after I put the D585 coils on. Before we'd max out about 15, actually about 14 psi, and she'd start uh, missing or falling its face around 52, 5300 rpm. You'll see here, uh, right about here, I step into it. Oop, let me go back. So we'll go along right about here, I step into it. We get into boost almost immediately, 3200 RPM. And she starts rising there. Right here is KPA, the red one's KPA, green's uh, TPS, you know, throttle, white's RPM, and this uh, yellow is the air fuel ratio. So you can see she starts climbing pretty good. Once we get there, at about 4,500 RPM, she starts screaming, and she rockets, rockets up on the uh, boost right here. Um, right now, we're about down here. Green is uh, boost pressure, and white's fuel pressure, and red uh, injector duty cycle. But uh, yeah, she was ready to go, man. She hit 210, which I have uh, 210 for my boost cut. Because she hasn't been getting that high, so I got to set the 210 as kind of a safety. And once I got 
in it with the new coils, man. She she, she climbed right to 210. She was ready to go to 20, 25 pounds, no problem. So, but uh, yeah, so she hit 210, and then the boost cut kicked in, and she cut out. But man, it was nice and smooth. You see my RPM here; it's pretty smooth. Before it would kind of jag up a little bit, and then be flat. And then come up a little more, drop down a little bit, and go up because of the misfire with the stock coil. So, super happy with the uh, truck coils. And, uh, yeah, I definitely recommend them, man, if you're battling any kind of spark blowout issue on these four valve coils, this upgrade. So, I paid 56 bucks for four, or excuse me, eight of the truck coils. With the brackets and the harness, everything out the door at a pick and pull here locally. So, uh, cheap and expensive, and it does a heck of a job. So, yeah, so we hit a at peak boost was uh, 16.5 pounds, and that's where my boost cut was. So, 